The U.S. Department of Agriculture is threatening to reduce food aid to needy women and children. So what are they spending the money on? Well, if you're not sitting down now, you maybe you should sit down for this. Washington Examiner Chief Political Correspondent Byron York joins us. Byron, they're going to cut the money for women and children, or at least it's a threat. So where's this money going? That's right. This is all about sequestration. Remember, the, the administration has been resisting sequestration cuts. The Department of Agriculture said if, if the cuts went through, they would have to cut uh, women, infant, children, nutritional sus uh, uh, assistance to 600,000 people. So Tom Coburn, the Republican Senator starts looking into what they're actually spending some of their money on. Uh, for example, they have something called value-added producer grants, which help companies market and create new products. They're giving $25,000 to a Kansas winery to help pr uh, promote Kansas wine, $300,000 to a Michigan winery, and $49,000 to an Iowa winery. Um, they're also giving $45,000 in one of these value-added produ uh, producer grants to a West Virginia company company to help it market its Bloody Mary mix. Uh, so Tom Coburn is looking at some of these expenses and saying, instead of not giving food assistance to poor people, maybe you could stop spending this. And if some money is going to someplace at Martha's Vineyard, too. What you know, I, I did not know this. Martha's Vineyard, the entire, it was a very ritzy place, right? It's very. incredibly expensive real estate. The entire island has been designated a rural area that's eligible for taxpayer-backed USDA loans. Uh, and and, and, uh, and a, a, obviously a taxpayer-backed loan is in part a subsidy. So Coburn has said, why are you doing that as well? And to go on the list, it's $162,000 to the old Westminster Winery in Maryland, $100,000 for the Appleton Creek Winery in New York. That's not Appleton, Wisconsin, I might add. Uh, the Appleton Creek Winery. I mean, why are we Why are we giving all this money for these wineries to market their products? I know. The, these, pro, the, these programs have just kind of grown up over the years without any real... Um, Real scrutiny, and what if you if you look at Coburn's the, website? Does that mean that the Tea Party objection that the government's gotten too big? Yeah, right. <laughs> I believe it is. If I you believe look it at is. Tom Coburn's website, he's been doing this a long time before the Tea Party uh, came into existence, and he does it with every single department. And the thing is, you can do this with every single federal department and find spending that seems just as kooky in other areas. Well, you know, it it is kooky. I I can't really can't imagine anyway, except for the recipients, maybe not finding this appalling. You know, for all these wineries to get all this money. I mean, a hundred, uh, hundred and sixty-two thousand dollars for this winery in Maryland. Hundred and sixty-two thousand. I mean, families, families would sit around at night and debate whether to spend five hundred dollars to fix the washing machine right. that's gone down. You know, and they try to figure out how to balance a budget or fix things. I mean, this is this is not the this is not the government's money to play around with. And it even, just isn't. And even programs that perhaps they should be doing, they find just got out of hand. Coburn found a lunch program, a free lunch program for children under the age of 18 in uh, Tulsa, which had been expanded. It started with, uh, with poor lunches for, for uh, excuse me, free lunches for poor children. Now it's free lunches for everybody. And Coburn but, says, well, wait a minute, you know, many, many parents can afford to buy their children lunch. Why are you buying free lunches for everybody under 18? Well, why is only Senator Tom Coburn apparently appalled by this? Where is everybody else? Well, you know, they, they all um, uh, express opposition to earmarks, but they just get caught up in other things. I mean, you, they just don't this, do it. If you read this letter that Coburn wrote to the USDA, to Tom Vilsack, the Secretary of Agriculture, it required a lot of work. You had to look into this stuff. You had to devote staff to this. You had to you had to do a fair amount of research. And and also, you don't want to single out any one department. And, 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 and again, Coburn has done it across the whole and, federal government. And Vilsack, uh, the Secretary of Agriculture's response is is what, the uh, women, infant, and children, or the wineries? Well, they, the Department of Agriculture says that they have cut a lot of other programs in an effort to preserve uh, food assistance for low-income women, infants, and children as much as possible. The, the, Coburn says, yes, you have, but here's all these other things. So he found all of these programs after the USDA said they had cut a lot of waste. Which, of course, there's nothing to prevent the uh, uh, agriculture of found this themselves without the senator doing it. But it's anyway. always been there. Byron, thank you. Thank you.